Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to walk you through a breakdown of the Artful Dodger trailer music. Let's dive in. Okay, so this appears to be a teaser of some kind because of its length, sort of 1 minute 26. Well, actually, I think it's a bit shorter than that. But uh, I wanted to dive into this because this is related to my tutorial about dark, quirky strings based around the Corner Office trailer. And also it's related to my course... Uh, for neoclassical string writing, because this is kind of like a wonderful mix of the two. It's tense, it's dark, and it relies on the kind of neoclassical string writing that I teach in that course, which, you know, is basically, like, condense the course, is basically arpeggios. You know, it's really, really straightforward. Played on the violin. Who would have thought? So, we're going to take a look at this trailer. We're going to talk about what you can get from this and take away with your writing. So let's dive in. Dr. Dawkins, you've recently joined us in the land of the misbegotten. Just as a surgeon, Lieutenant. And before then? Well, let's stop there. Okay, so we're basically 10 seconds in. It's just like a tiny little click, click, click. I think it's a stick banging on something, keeping the pulse. And the cello keeping the pulse as well. A -dum -bum 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 -bum. Really, really basic riff. Really basic riff that has. Uh, it's just like again, dung, 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 dung. Now on the fourth iteration of that pulse, we add a little fill. We add something of interest. Now this is how you write for percussion as well. You you have a four bar loop and on the fourth bar or the fourth beat of the bar, whatever it is, how long, however long your phrase is, you add an interesting fill, an element. It's the same here. And then after you hear it two times, perhaps, you add another layer, which in this case was that violin. Four then. Nice. Okay, so now we're going into it. We've din, din, din. The violin's coming in. We're going to add in another layer. Skype convict playing doctors now. That's got to be an issue where I'd ever discovered. Which is our percussion. So a really quick and easy way to ramp up the tension and build when you're doing this style of writing. Because when you're in the neoclassical world, you can't rely on tons and tons of layers because you've essentially got maybe a cello, viola and two violins. So you have to think in terms of other things, other sounds. And percussion is a real quick win to bring the pace. Snatch the rubies, happy days. And if one word gets out about our past... You could break from your life of thievery. My thievery has been very occasional. Okay. I don't know whether that stop down is in the track or whether that was put in by the editors, but it sounds like, well, that's the stem of the percussion. Okay, so a nice easy win for you is at one point in your track to, once you've built up to it, you stop down into just the percussion stem, which then stops down into a break, which you then ramp into with a whoosh or a riser. Because you're not adding any new material, you're just changing what everyone is hearing, you're changing the focus, which is what the editor is doing here. They're kind of bringing people's attention to that moment. Let's hear it again. Gets out about our past. About our past. Hmm. Looking at the lady. Break from your life of thievery. My thievery has been very occasional. And space for a joke. Okay. Which brings us into the next one. If you have any ambition, then you have to fight for it. The violin arpeggio. The noose has been strung. Sometimes. We must hurt in order to heal. Okay, I really love that kind of like uh, snare style hit. Boom, boom, it's kind of got this like build to it and it's letting you know that something is coming. So on top of the violin arpeggio. The noose has been strung. Sometimes you've got that extra percussion layer. We must hurt in order to heal. Also, I quite like the strange kind of like brass stabs, which uh, 
It's the type of thing that an editor might have added on. I don't know. I I don't know what the track is. If the trailer editor didn't add it on, then it's a really nice touch by the composer. I think it's terribly exciting. It is a little. Okay, again, a very similar stop down. Stop down to just percussion, which then stops down to silence, which then brings us back in. So it's actually a two-stage stop down, which is uh, something I rarely do myself. So maybe I'm going to start. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is a really great example of really simple but effective writing. Okay, and I like that last bit because you can hear just the strings. Let's hear it again. So the violin, digger, 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 digger. With regard to the writing, there isn't a huge amount going on, but with so much of trailer music writing, it's not always what you're writing. It's how you structure it and how you pace it and how you layer it. And this is a really, really great example of that. I mean, I've had tremendous success with this type of dark neoclassical writing. Not because I'm especially good at it, but because it gives you the opportunity to limit yourself in terms of instruments. So because you're limited in instruments, you have to become more inventive with your structuring and your layering. And all of a sudden you start writing for an editor or for a trailer rather than writing because the music's got you. You're writing to make it more interesting sounding because you're thinking, well, I can't just repeat this loop. I have to cut something. I have to do something to keep interest. Whereas, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but when we're writing larger scale things, we're like, yeah, this is so big sounding. Everyone wants to hear it again, <laughs> you know, um, which oftentimes we do. But thinking in terms of how can I make this more interesting? What can I cut? What can I add? How can I layer it? How can I stop it? How can I structure it? Will really bring your tracks to the next level. So uh, great work to the composer who did this and, and the editor, of course. Uh, really nice, simple, dark string trailer.